what's up what's up all my lv besties i hope you guys are having a great day hope you all have had a great start of your week we are on wednesday by the time this video goes up it will probably be thursday because i am filming late at night because i've had a long day um we had a mandatory meeting for my daughter's competition cheer team tonight so i had to do all of that and yeah so i'm just now getting around to doing this video but it's a super cool video because it's another tag and you guys i love i love doing tags okay they're so much fun um but before i start that i just want to say welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is candy my channel name is candy sweet love for lv kind of self-explanatory especially if you look at my size right now the sweet part and if you see my handbag collection then you will know why i say sweet love for lv okay but right now you guys are getting to look at the double doors behind me that lead to go to the outside of our house from our bedroom you guys i know y'all never know where i'm gonna be filming at i realize that it, i am here there and all over the place right now but I'm getting that worked on, which I've explained that to y'all in other videos. We're still getting the house all situated, decorated, and all cute. And then I'm going to find my perfect spot in the formal living room, probably, and start filming there. So for now, I'm just kind of moving all around the house. I don't know. Maybe I should make a game out of it and just film wherever all the time. Just, just random places. Just random places. Maybe I should. I don't know. Who knows? where I'm gonna be you guys okay but today I decided to film in front of these doors not because I think they're just like amazingly looking doors but just because like I have a big space right here okay a big space <laughs> my the beds over there the walls way back there okay so that is why oh let me go turn on my um, ceiling fan light okay guys I'm back I went and turned on my ceiling fan light so that way we could have a little more lighting in here. I always forget that light for some reason. I don't know why. I, 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 okay, yeah, we're just only gonna go there. I know I have told you guys that I've been going to come on here and do a comparison between the new, I call it a toiletry, toiletry bag, but it's really called a poche toilet. I don't know, <laughs> something like that bag uh, versus my toiletry 26. Um, and I say bag because I turn these into a bag. They are a toiletry pouch that I turn into a bag as lots of people are doing and have been doing as well. And I decided to wait until I got my insert in from Samorga. That way I can show you guys how I'm going to use it and the different straps I'm going to put with it versus the original toiletry 26. So that's why I have not come on here and done that one because I'm waiting and if you guys have ever ordered from Samorga then you know it takes a minute for their inserts to come in but they're so good and I wanted a really thin one for sure it, being that it's already a thin bag I'm gonna call it a bag because that's what I'm gonna use it for as it is so as soon as that comes in I will do a comparison and show you guys the difference between the two there's not a whole lot but moving past that today's video is actually a tag and i was tagged by winnie blv i went to her picture right up there and i believe the original tag started with super Jacob. but and the cool thing is is i just now found his channel where has he been in my youtube um watching life i don't know but um i watched a few of his videos earlier and he's freaking hilarious okay so yeah i do believe the original tag got started with him but winnie b she tagged me and i do not turn down a tag there are those that do not turn down dares and in the youtube world i do not turn down a tag i will turn down a dare however i definitely will turn down a dare yeah because i'm not that crazy so anyways the tag is my cheapest luxury handbag now we all know no luxury handbag is cheap however everybody has a different opinion as to what is cheap as in price and what is not there are several definitions that could go with the cheapest luxury handbag okay there is it could mean the cheapest one made the cheapest looking one you have but i took it as it's the cheapest 
handbag that you have in your collection as in what you paid for the handbag as opposed to what it costs now or even just if it's not even a vintage one or an older one as in your, just your cheapest handbag in general. Well, I am going to show you guys my cheapest handbag that I have as far as price goes. By all means, this is not a cheap made handbag or a cheap looking handbag, okay? And a matter of fact, it's not even a handbag. It's a, it's a bag, but it's not a handbag. So, I will show you guys mine. And it is my Keep All 60 in the bandolier style. And it is really huge and really nice. And I'm going to have to hold this up. But I do have a table, but I don't think you guys can see it sitting there. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this up. But anyways, I bought this bag from a friend who bought it off the pre-loved market. And I paid her $700 for this bag. This bag is in excellent condition. It's got a nice, pretty patina to the vachetta on it. It's heavy. It's really heavy because I have it like stuffed with things. So <laughs> y'all just bear with me because I know I look like I'm dying holding this up. And which would mean I have no muscles if I'm just holding up a bag. But <laughs> okay, I don't have muscles. But anyways, the thing is, is I'm not dying because it's just a bag. Because it's, it's just loaded down with stuff. Okay, it is. I'll, when I pull it out, you guys will see. Anyways, okay, so here we are. So we're back to the Keep All 60. And this kind of originated from like... The speedies, I believe, because it started with like the speedy 25, the speedy 30, 35, 40. I think when they made the 50, they started calling these the keep balls. So then we got 50, 55, and oh no, we got a. I don't know if 45 is a keep ball or if it's a bag. Some people use it as a bag. Um, to me, I would probably use it as a traveling bag. So we got it. So then it goes to the keep ball 50, 55, and 60 so this is the biggest one they make and so yeah i paid 700 dollars for this and i'm not real sure what she paid for it but like i said as you can see excellent condition nothing wrong with it so today if you were to buy this bag you would pay 2640 dollars us dollars for this bag if you were to buy it today of course the vachetta would not have a patina to it so it would be very light but eventually it's going to get that anyways but I am a big traveler. My whole family travels. We, we are always going somewhere. And this bag works perfectly as a carry-on bag. Technically, I don't think you're supposed to go over a size 55. But they say as long as you don't pack it full and it will fit, they have no problem with a 60. And how I know is because I have carried it many times on a plane and it been just fine nobody said a word to me so yeah i really like this for traveling and not only by plane but by car it's i mean it's just it's a great bag in general i love it it's probably the only one i'll ever own because i'm just really not big into like expensive luggage that is but for 700 dollars heck yeah so Another thing about this bag that I think is cool is that it was made in 1997. That was a year I graduated high school. So I think that's a really cool thing that it was that I have something from when I was graduated high school. I would actually like to find like a um, speedy from the year I was born, 1979, and like have it redone just just for whatever because that was like a big date in my life, you know, and then graduating high school is another big date in my life so I like the fact that it it was made in 1997 and when I looked back to see what they cost around that time frame what I found was around about $500 so I paid just $200 more than what you would have bought this bag brand new in 1997 and let me pull the pillows out here we go oh well Okay, well, I've been looking for my little summer pillows for my couch. I found some. Found some. Yep. All right. So, I had two big old pillows in there. So I'm going to take them out so I can show you guys the inside. And it is in immaculate condition. I can't, like, hold this whole thing up and show you guys. But it's got the brown textile lining in there. There's no pin marks, no ink, no anything inside this bag whatsoever. I'm trying to find the 
tag so I can see what I know what year it was made and I was trying to see what week but I guess that's really not important it's not going to be important because I can't find it okay moving on moving on okay but one cool thing that I like about the keep all bags is they put where's that oh they put the size of it like right above the d-ring it's like right here the, there's like you pull this little piece of leather down and it says 60. <laughs> okay so i think that's pretty cool but overall yeah like i think i got a great deal on this i like i said i'm not one that's going to pay full price anyways for a, something um, that I'm going to travel with, even though I travel a lot, there's many things that could happen while you're traveling to your bags. I've had many bags torn up through um, traveling, but they weren't carry-on. When you carry it on yourself, it makes a huge difference, but, but I would still only carry it like as a carry-on. I'm not going to throw this underneath an airplane. I'm not gonna throw this in the mix of all the bags that they put on a ship but for sure hands down great carry-on bag and i again think i got a great price for this there is no flaws on the bag at, at all like even the patina is like perfect like it's all even it's the same color every all over there's i mean you got your typical just little wrinkles from normal wear on it but as far as um, anything major, there's no stitching coming out, nothing. I love it, and if you want to take it off and just carry it as, as the bag, you can take the strap off. And we have this little thingy-majigger that you just that will hold these two little handles together. And yeah, so this is my cheapest luxury bag, my Keep All 60, you guys. I highly recommend one if you are into carrying luxury bags when you travel then I think this is a great one um, I would like to have one just a little bit smaller maybe like the 50 that way it's kind of more easier to carry but I'm not gonna pay full price but I sure wouldn't mind looking on the pre-love market for one and I, I tell you the one of my favorite ones is the ones that have the black um, leather I like that. I think those are so pretty. And even the multicolored um, bags. But this one's just the, the monogram canvas, which you guys know is one of my favorite things anyways. So yeah, perfect traveling bag, perfect price. And I will tell you guys, I will never get rid of this bag. This is one I will pass down to my children, my daughters, whichever one wants it because it's great. And if it's still in this good of condition since 1997 it will probably stay in the exact same condition because i'm very easy with my bags i am not one that takes some this kind of money lightly and just wear them out tear them up or throw them around and all that kind of stuff i'm just not i am one of those that's very easy with my bags um if you're not that's okay too i'm just the type of person that is because I, when I spend the money on it I like to just take care of them now I'm not saying that I am just one of those that oh don't touch my bag or, or anything like that you know like but I do carry them but I just I'm not going to chunk them around and throw them around and let them get all dirty and nasty all that kind of stuff no I like to keep my bags good and nice and clean so this one should last a long time so yeah this was such a fun tag to do and apparently as Winnie said on her video a lot of people have done this already so I'm probably way late in the game but that is okay because I'm way late in all kinds of games you guys like I, I'm just I just go with it okay when I just go with whatever but I was happy to do this tag and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so now. And I just want to thank all of you that are subscribers and that support my channel and leave the sweetest comments because without you guys, I would not be sitting here continuing to do more videos. So thank you so very much. And I am going to leave you all with, I hope you have a great morning, day, evening, or night, whatever the time it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a very good much so of a good night. I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye!